Okay, some key features. You want to mark on your cast or be able to understand where the ascending portion of your maxillary tuberosity is. Now that's going to be your limit for your posterior teeth. Now essentially, the handle also is kind of simulating that um, where the teeth will be. Um, when you do the record bases, eventually you'll add wax to simulate where the handle is. Okay, so see how they're all kind of building on each other. Another key thing is you want to be able, so these end right at that point, and they are ending at a 45 degree angle. So I made that cut coming downwards, okay? Also, you'll want to come back around and make sure that you're about 10 millimeters. Okay. I can see that I am. And then 8 millimeters thick. Can you see how I'm 8 millimeters there? Okay. And if you're ever so slightly short, you can correct that once it's hard. We're going to put it in here. Okay, so when you're placing the mandibular, you're going to kind of glide it up the retromolar pad, but then just like you ended the maxillary at a very, really specific point, as you can see on this cast, you want to end the mandibular handle at about one half to two thirds the retromolar pad. Okay, so you can come over here and just glide along the flat surface and just come back on it. Same thing. Can you see? Gliding along the flat surface and just coming back with it. And then from there, it'll be the exact same steps as you did for the maxillary. Okay, so sometimes your burr will get all clogged up and this is in your expendables kit from your first year. And you can use that to clean it off. After each time, you're gonna get real dirty, okay? You always wanna wear your protective equipment and eyeglasses. Okay, so as you can see, if you zoom in, you'll see that there are little ridges even though I smoothed it, there are still these little sharp ridges. Now, when you put this in someone's mouth interorally, that's gonna be very sharp to their soft mucosa, their soft gingiva, so you wanna trim that. Now, you don't really wanna trim inside, to, cause that would distort it, but you wanna just trim on the edge. So you wanna think of it as, if you zoom in here, so say you have the two, the internal surface and the external surface, right? And the top is kind of rigidy. You wanna come through and flatten out, get rid of that rigidness, and then chop off the pointy corners, right? So we're gonna go flat, angled, angled, okay? So I'm coming through it. And you want to keep it moving really fast because the moment you stop it and you kind of are trimming in one section, then you'll end up cutting way too much off. So by keeping kind of fast motion, and this is called your palm thumb grass. So your thumb, so you're potato peeling it, okay? So I'm kind of moving across. So see how I flatten it out now? So I, I did several swiping motions to flatten out, but now you only need like one motion, maybe two, to take off those edges, okay? Very minimally. And now as I rub my finger across that, it's very smooth. You'll just do the same all the way around, okay? Smooth that out. So we've done the flat surface of it. Now I'm coming back around and doing the front. And then there's any irregularities. And then the inner surface. Okay. 
Okay, and so you're just gonna continue that all the way around for both your maxillary as well as your mandibular. Okay, so to be able to determine what your thickness is here, you can use your calipers to come across and measure the thickness of them. Okay, so just choose a few key areas and then you'll be evaluating where the first of the numbers are. So it looks like this is nine millimeters thick. So I'm a little thick. So you can come through and thin it up. And you also wanna see how tall you are. So if you find that you are a little high in some places, you can get just kinda come through and trim off the places that are high. And again, if you just kind of keep it moving, you'll create kind of this smooth surface, fast moving. Okay. As opposed to if you do it slowly, you'll have lots of ugly streaks, right? And to thin it out. See, very fast. Wiping motion. Now, the thing you want to be really careful of is that in doing this trimming, you haven't gotten rid of your little concavity, okay? If you have, or if you didn't put it there to begin with, one way to incorporate it is just to glide along. Okay. And can you see how I have incorporated a small concavity? Okay, so just gliding it. So some people, as I said, prefer to incorporate it, the major anatomical features afterwards. Okay. So that's how you would incorporate that concavity after the fact. And if you wanted to, you could even smooth up that little edge. So you're going very, very fast. Okay. And just repeat on the internal surface, the external surface, and then on the mandibular. Well, I hope this explanation of custom impression trace has helped you to gain a better understanding of how to do the lab work um, and how to pair that lab work with the manual that you've been issued. Now you can also check out my other videos that I have online, which include how to do border molding, overviews, record bases, occlusion rims, and interior setup. Thanks.